Hey, I'm Max from Indicate. Um, I'm here with the Big Rep Bio 250. Going to be talking about it with Jason from Big Rep, uh, head of marketing in North America. I was excited to see the Big Rep Bio at Rapid this year. Uh, you know, good to see Big Rep's latest generation of 3D printing technology. Uh, Jason, I just want to ask you, you know, a little bit more about the Bio and you know, kind of what makes it so special. Yeah, absolutely. Well, first off, thanks for having me, Max. It's always great to come visit you guys. Um, and also, you are one of the first uh, resellers to have, and one of the first values to be in California. So nice. uh, always great to partner with you guys. Mm -hmm. um, but really, yeah, the VIO uh, 250, like you mentioned at Rapid this year, was the first time we introduced it. And uh, at the core of the product, what we were really trying to do is make large format industrial 3D printing as easy as possible for um, really anyone to get started with large format 3D printing. Mm -hmm. um, there's oftentimes a barrier of entry and with a lot of the smart technology automation features that has been built into it, really make it as, as simple as it is to, to use a desktop printer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, um, after having a hands-on experience with the VIO for the past couple of months, you know, I can definitely say I see a lot of the improvements and kind of ease of use that you were talking about. Yeah. Um, you know, why don't you go in a little bit more specifics, talk about some of the new functions and features added. Yeah, happy to do so. So um, I think first off, the, the one thing that you can uh, clearly see if you're familiar with our products and have seen the Studio G2, um, mm -hmm. one of the main differences we heard a lot of feedback on was moving the HMI. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, HMI uh, was on the side, but just again, from that ease of use of being able to access really important information uh, easily, uh, HMI has been moved to the front of the printer instead of on the side, um, as well as material loading. So mm -hmm. um, there are two material cabinets, two material uh, bays right here up at the front, which I'll get into a little bit more detail on in just a sec. So um, that makes things just so much easier for, for people to access, like I said, some of that mm -hmm. important information. But on top of that, um, what you have in the HMI too, it's going to be um, automatic bed mapping, um, uh, the calibration process is done all through the uh, through the HMI, which again, compared to some of our legacy products, um, they're just a little bit more, a little more hands off for for users, right? Um, and that is something that, and just even me using it, I've really really enjoy. Yeah, one of the improvements that I've definitely been appreciating while using this printer is just the improved filament handling. You know, like Jason said. Having the doors on the front of the printer along with the HMI just makes the whole thing more accessible. Um, but the pullout drawers and the uh, bio infinity box definitely makes it easier to just kind of automatically load and unload filament, you know, which for, especially for such a large printer, that really helps. Yeah, Max, you, uh, you mentioned the infinity boxes and the filament handling here. It's honestly probably one of my favorite features of the of the VIO just from you think about big rep and you think about some of the parts that you print on a big rep printer they're they're big right so they're going to take a lot of material we have 8 kg spools of mm -hmm. filament which you know um, they're big and they they do they can't handle some larger parts but one of the things that is tough is when you know, potentially running out of that large spool of filament mm -hmm. and wanting to be there at the exact right time to switch out a spool, right, to make sure you yeah. can continue to print. And thankfully, that's the Infinity Box handles a lot of that, um, mm -hmm. handles a lot of that. So uh, these pull-out drawers, they can hold up to two 8 kg spools in each filament bay. Mm -hmm. And when one spool of material runs out, the same material that's loaded in, going to take that spool of the second spool of material and continue to print um, and continue to print into there, which is uh, which is great. Yeah, definitely. So now I actually have a question for you, Max. Mm -hmm. So you've been using the VIO for a couple months, like you said, and you're very familiar with Big Rep's products. You've worked mm -hmm. with us for a couple of years now. So I'm really curious to hear your perspective just um, coming from some of the older products and then looking at where we're headed what you're excited about, what you're excited to talk to customers about uh, mm -hmm. in relation to these new products. Yeah, definitely. Um, had a lot of hands-on time with, you know, the, the Big Rep One and the Big Rep Studio. Uh, you know, a lot of things to like about both of those printers, um, but this is just kind of a continuation of, you know, all the features that I liked and more, you know, the improved automation, the printing speeds, 
um, just kind of the additional, you know, the improvements to the user interface and like web connectivity, you know, all of those, it's just kind of same big rep you love, you know, a lot of little improvements. Yeah, connectivity is a, is a big one because right, yeah. this is this is uh, compatible with Big Rep Connect, which is mm -hmm. our um, you, what would you say remote software that or remote uh, access software that you can view prints, mm -hmm. then also get a ton of information, ton of data, right? So um, being able to upload jobs remotely, check on a print, all that is really nice to continue to have in something like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. You know, you can monitor your prints. Um, you know, even when I'm traveling, if I have a long print running or I run a print over the weekend, I can use Big Rep Connect to monitor what's going on and I can remotely upload prints. So all I have to do to start them is just come over here and click print, which is pretty great. And I think also in continuation with the Big Rep that you've come to know, right, is this thing is built like a tank. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it, is, it is designed and made for, you know, like we, like we say, industrial applications and is mm -hmm. really for that. Uh, people who are looking to produce parts, right? Yes. And, and that lends to the, some of the automation features that we've built into it. Hey, we're, we're not really trying to get too into the weeds of it. I always mm -hmm. like to say, I don't want to take out a degree in 3D printing just to run a 3D printer and, right. and get the benefits of it. Um, and so that's, that's exactly the customer that we've designed it for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's, it's pretty nice because while well, yes, it is you know, very, uh, beginner or new user friendly, you don't need a ton of experience to kind of work with it. Um, you know, Big Rep Blade and kind of all the tools you have available. If you are a more advanced or experienced user, you know, you can really get deep in the weeds and kind of, you know, it, you can get deep in the weeds and kind of tweak and improve things how you like. Yeah, it, it, it's helpful, but it's not necessary, exactly, right? Exactly, yeah, which I like. And if they do have those questions, mm -hmm. they can come to you. Yep, <laughs> you can always reach out to me at Indicate. Yeah, thanks, Jason, for coming and talking about the uh, the new bio printer. Um, you know, always great to have you. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. Yeah, yeah, and please like, comment, and follow uh, Indicate Technologies on all of our social media channels.